Hi, today we want to go through with you some of our favourite tips from Microsoft Outlook. These tips should provide you with efficient ways of navigating and using Outlook so that you are more productive. Our first tip of the day is quick action buttons for emails. As you will know, on our emails you have you can hover over them and they will appear with quick actions such as flag or the bin button. We can actually alter these by going into our home section then in the top taskbar there is a flag with a drop down menu. So if we go into that at the bottom there is an option to set quick actions. We can then customise what happens to emails when you hover over them. So you can see here we can choose two different quick actions like archive or move. Once we click OK, we are able to see these changes straight away and you can change these actions to whichever suits your needs. Our second tip of the day is dragging and dropping attachments from Outlook to Teams. Now before you would have to save the document and then re-upload it into Teams, but this tip will help you skip all the nitty gritty bits. Just by splitting your screen into two, with Outlook on one side and Teams on the other, we can then open an email with any document in, for example this Excel sheet. We can then simply drag and drop the document over into a text box in Teams and simply wait for it to download and send. And it's as easy as that. Our third tip is auto resizing images in Microsoft Outlook. We have all experienced that pop up saying that our file was too large to send, so here is a quick way for changing the size of the image before sending it. If we go to the image that we want in our file explorer, so we will right click on it now and then go to send to and then mail recipient. It will then give you the picture size and options to, options to resize it. Once you're happy with the size, all you need to do is click attach. If you've already attached the item, there is another way to resize it. We want to head to file in the top left and it gives us the options at the top where we can resize any large images when the message is sent. Simply tick the resize large images when I send this message and it will automatically resize it for you. Our fourth tip of the day is cleaning up conversations and folders. Keeping a tidy inbox is important so files or important messages don't get lost. Cleaning up an email chain so you only have the important parts is super easy. If we go to our bin in the home section there is a drop down menu. We can then click on clean up conversations and this will remove any unnecessary back and forths and leave you with what you need. This works the same with folders. If we go into our action required folder, we can then do the same process to the drop to the drop down menu and go ahead and click on clean up folder, which will erase anything that isn't important that's clogging up your inbox. This can be decided in your clean up settings. In the settings, you can decide where where cleaned up messages will go so you can recover them if necessary, as well as tick boxes. For example, don't move flagged or unread messages. This is again fully customizable to your own needs and once you click OK, these will stick for whenever you clean up your folders or messages. Our fifth tip of the day is showing the total items that are in the Outlook folder. So usually you will be able to see the amount of emails that are in your inbox. But for example, I want my action required folder to show me how many items are in there too. To do this we want to right click the folder and go down to properties. From there we can change the settings from show number of unread items to show the total number of items in this folder. So now you can see the amount of items that are in the folder even if they have been read. Our last but not least tip of the day is categorising your emails with colours. We first want to click on the email in our inbox that we want to categorise. Then we need to go into the home section and into the top panel we want to go to the categories box with the four coloured squares. We can then choose a colour and name what this colour represents. In this instance we can name it leads and then colour code any emails that could be a lead in this colour. These categories are super easy to use and help you to keep on track of the different emails you're receiving. So that concludes today's video. We hope you are now able to use Microsoft Outlook with ease and efficiency. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.